Okay guys, so this video is on whether to buy your geckos from a pet shop or a breeder. It could be a long video. I'm quite passionate about this and I've got experience on both sides. I would suggest a breeder so much more than a pet shop. Now, obviously I've got some sort of evidence and experience to back all that up. I will tell you the pros and cons of each. Um, so let's start off with my experience. Now if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know the story about Diego. Now if you're new to this channel, um, I'll quickly recap it. Um, I went out and bought a gecko from Pets at Home. Um, it was the last one there, they didn't know its, na um, its breed, like its morph I mean. Um, they didn't know its age. They said it's definitely a girl, they only ever get girls in. Now he was led down in his tank and trust me he was a boy I could tell so easily and this is why I love breeders whenever I think I've only ever got fish and Diego from a pet store every other pet that I have I've got from a breeder now it's hard it was half term last week around here and I don't know if you have that you probably don't have that in America I'm not sure but in England you do and probably Wales and Scotland and Ireland I don't know so all the kids were off now I don't really like that, I go shopping and I'm like, oh, why are these people here? But that's besides the point, I was in a pet shop, I was happy, just checking out the animals. I'm not going to buy any, but I like to see them. <laughs> it's like a free zoo for me, I just love animals. Anyway, so I saw this lady go in and she got, for her son, a tiny cricket box. that I'll, If I get a picture, I'll put it up now. Um, which I hate those because if you have a tiny cricket box, your crickets are going to end up eating each other, there's not enough room. Um... I'll show you my cricket box. There's enough room for them, two tubs of them to live happily and they get fresh fruit. Now she got that little thing. She got bug gel that I know a lot of people use, um, but it's just another thing the pet store will sell you. And she just put, uh, paid full range. And me, I'm a bit of a cheapskate and I love to look for the cheapest deal. It's always the same product but cheapest and look around for it. Don't just go straight into a shop and pay full price. Anyway. The thing about the crickets is if you're eating an apple or an orange or just a tomato, you can take a slice and just add it in with your crickets and they'll be so much more healthier for them and you'll save money. It's better than bug gel. <laughs> I'm getting in a bit of a rant here, but anyway. And then I saw people buying hides in there, which, got some of them pet shops, I saw one for 30 quid. I mean, that is just crazy. Um, always look around online. And also a great thing, I know this is going a bit off the point, but a great thing I found was an aquarium hide. That's what I got for Minnie. Um, because they're, they're exa basically made of the same stuff. And sometimes they're actually cheaper and there's a whole range. You can have a whole thing. You can have like a pyramid in your gecko's tank. It's so cool. Anyway, <laughs> so really look around. Don't you just go to your pet store and say, what do I, what do I need? And then they just say, oh, I think you'll need this. And you'll need this because they, they kind of want to get more money out of you. Um, I didn't see any eco work at this pet store that I'm on about. Um, they only had sand and there was a big picture of a leopard gecko on it. Now, I swear, like, someone should ban that because that makes you really angry. Geckos cannot have sand. And why are they putting a gecko's picture on and putting these geckos live who's going to use it like in jeopardy because they really should not be on them. So I'm going to also add some pictures now of, from different pet shops. I'm not sure what these are and I don't want to say every pet shop's bad because I'm sure some of them are run by experts who know these creatures. But here are some pictures. You might find them distressing but they're the truth. That's sometimes what happens. Where, see, where you've got a breeder, now this is, oh wait, actually, before I do the breed a bit, I'll tell you um, about this information pack. Now, you'll be able to see it on the screen right now. So, a friend of mine got a gecko around the same time as me, and he was given um, an instruction thing on the setup. And, to be fair, most of it's, like, the right thing. It says ha cover half the... Um, cage with the heat mat half of the cool. I normally do a third of the heat mat, two thirds of the cool, but whatever. So yeah, but there's about 20 or more uh, spelling mistakes. It's actually unbelievable that they would hand this out as an instruction thing. Um, it's just quite bad. Um, the other thing is they sold him calcium sand, um, 
a light to put in, like a heat light that they don't need. They're not basking ones. I don't know how many times I have to say this on this video. If a pet shop tells you to get a basking light, don't get it because they're trying to get more money out of you and geckos do not bask. They don't need light. Um, they don't need a heat light. Um, they do need light to let them know that it's day and night, but if you've got a well-lit room anyway, then that's fine. So also calcium sand or any type of sand do not use. Um, then he went on to wood chippings. Do not use wood chippings please because they can splinter and, and actually make a hole in the gullet of your gecko and they will die. Um, I mean it was just so terrible and this was actually from a reptile shop. Not just a general pet store, a reptile shop. Now the next one I found out, both of these, god they must be from about 8 years ago. And the second care sheet obviously the font is a little bit bigger but it's a two thing sheet and it was from the breeder i got my fir first free geckos from because i was on about bindi if you saw my gecko tag um you got description housing lighting diet health then there's some books that they suggest and the lady who i bought it from was absolutely brilliant she constantly said if you have any questions let me know i mean to be fair some of the pros with the pet shop um, from my experience with Diego, he's actually a really healthy gecko, uh, he's really chunky, he's a great hunter, and yeah, he's doing really well, so that is a positive. Another pro was that I think he's a gold hibino, and uh, the great thing about pet shops is where they don't, well some pet shops, is that they don't know the morph correctly, and I looked online and I saw one that looked exactly like him, and it was like $300, because they can be quite naive to what they're selling, I got him for 35 quid. So overall, breeders are so much better. I follow a few on Instagram and their geckos just look so lovely. They've got a whole range, they know what they're talking about. I mean, sometimes you might have to pay a bit more for your gecko because they know how much it's really worth. That just depends on what different colours and patterns you want um, and so on. They'll have all the information you need and more. If you're subscribed to this channel and you want to find out more in depth, then that's fantastic. You're obviously, you care about your pet. You want to know all the stuff you need to know because it's an exotic pet. It's not just like getting a hamster or something. Well done for subscribing or even just looking around on YouTube at mine or other people's video. So basically from this video, I just wanted you to take that uh, breeders will generally give you a lot more information and normally provide healthier geckos but not all pet stores are the same so really do your background information on your shop if you are thinking of buying from a shop. Um, I've got some helpful links in the description below and I hope this video has helped.